Reporting for High School Sports On Demand, powered by Max Preps, I'm Lauren Brown. We gotta play hard. We gotta play four quarters and just continue to get better on both sides of the ball and uh, stop them from making a lot of big plays. They have a couple of good talents on the off offense side of the ball that we have to stop. Uh, but you know, we tried to start a tradition when Dawson opened of, you know, understand that the season's 16 weeks long. It's not 10 weeks long. And uh, when you get closer to the end of the season, it's almost like go ahead and start preparing yourself. These are playoff games. You know, you gotta go in. You gotta play your best. You're gonna go against the best every week. So you got to start preparing yourself like that. They got a lot of speed. They're a much improved team from last year. Coach Anders uh, done a great job with them. Got a good staff in there that, that's working the kids, and uh, you know they're they're a talented team. You know they've been playing well in the district play. The Galveston Ball Tornadoes paid a visit to the Pearland Dawson Eagles for some Friday night football. In the first quarter, it's second and seven for the Eagles, and they try to get a first down. They move the ball six yards, and the Eagles are just shy of the first down. Just two plays later, it's fourth and one for the Eagles, and they go for it. Brett Winnigan punches the ball in for the four-yard score. Six-nothing Eagles. With the Tyler Day kick through the uprights, the Eagles go up seven-nothing on the Tornadoes. Later in the first quarter, the Eagles don't stop. Ross Wickland decides to play some long ball. A 30-yard pass to Tony Upchurch more than gives the Eagles a first down and put them within a few yards of the end zone. Next play, Bryce Johnson dances his way around defenders to take the ball in six yards for the Eagles' touchdown, 13-0 Eagles. The Tyler Day kick makes it 14-0 Eagles. Less than two minutes to go in the first quarter, and the Eagles are at it again. Ross Wicklin with the nice pass to Tony Upchurch, who takes it 22 yards down the field to keep their offense moving. Nice second effort, effort by Tony Upchurch. Next play, keep your eye on the ball. Ross Wicklin with a huge 32-yard pass to Jordan Maddox-Williams, who dives to make the play. Heading to the second quarter, the Eagles lead 14-0 over the Tornadoes. The Eagles just keep on going. Wickland with the handoff to Brett Winnigan, who takes the ball in 11 yards for another first down. Winnigan would finish the game rushing for 207 yards on 22 attempts. First and 10 for Dawson. Just a few plays later, Winnigan is at it again. But this time he takes the ball in three yards to the house to extend the Eagles' lead to 20. Number two, Brett Winnigan with the Dawson. Eagle touchdown! The point after by Tyler Day is good to make it 21 0 Eagles. Later in the second quarter, Ross Wicklin looking for an open man, but he throws it to the wrong guy. He's intercepted by the Tornado's Christian Nichols. But on the ensuing drive, the Tornadoes are unable to score, so the score would remain 21 0 in favor of the Eagles. Eagles offense doesn't let up in the third quarter. Brett Winnigan has some nice moves as he dodges defenders to help give his team another first down. On the next play, watch closely or you might miss him. 
Brett went again on the carry. He's off to the races. 57 yards to the paint to put up another six on the board for the Eagles. The extra point was no good, but the Eagles lead 27-0 over the Tornadoes. Still in the third quarter, the Tornadoes offense goes to work. Jaleel Lewis makes his way 32 yards down the field to give his team the first down to extend the drive. And it's a good thing he did. On the next play, Jacob Simon shoots a 21-yard rocket to Greg Jones-Rollins for the touchdown. The Tornadoes are on the board. The Jordan Fuentes kick makes it 27-7 in favor of the Eagles. The Eagles would have a response. Ross Wickland throws a 45-yard bomb to Brett Winnigan, who takes the ball home for another Eagles touchdown. The Eagles go up 33-7 on the Tornadoes. The extra point by Tyler Day is good to give the Eagles a 34-7 advantage. Later in the third, the Tornadoes try to battle back. Jacob Simon hits up Jawan Whitaker to move the ball down the field. On the next play, Jacob Simon tries to keep it going, but he throws it to the wrong guy. He's intercepted by the Eagles' Brandon Guzman, who returns it for a 61-yard touchdown to make it 40-7 Eagles. The point after by Tyler Day would make it 41-7 Eagles. That would be all the Dawson Eagles would need for the win over the Ball Tornadoes. The final, Eagles win 41-7 over the Tornadoes. For High School Sports On Demand, powered by Max Preps, I'm Lauren Brown.